Manners maketh. <laughs> of course, he's not going out the door. He's going to lock the door. I think they're going to bully him there, but of course, they're out of their depth with this guy. My name's Stephen Gillen, and today I'm going to react to Kingsman, The Secret Service. No, oh, why don't you do your mum a favour, go down the shop and get some. Get myself. And I love this film because it starts off, you know, he's in that South London environment, very normal. You know, I grew up like this, same as myself. You've got the mother there, she's trying to please everyone. You've got the father there, you know, he's involved in all the crime and all that. You know, they're really impoverished, you know, really. You know, they've got a lot of challenges. This kid, who is Eggsy, who is the main character in it, the protagonist, can either go good with his life or can go bad. How does he do it? How does he navigate that? How does he get out of it? Let's just go, man. It's not worth it. You boys have outstayed your welcome. I love this scene too, right? You know, he's giving it the last now, sitting down. Oh, you know, when you're looking at and all this, I mean, this proper sore turnout, proper muggy, right? But of course, there's a, you know, there's a lot of threat here, right? And this is where a lot of things can go wrong very easily. You jacked his fucking car keys, bruv. Yeah, now we're gonna nick his car. Fucking oh, shit. Not. So he's jacked a motor, right? You know, this is setting up the premise of the film, really, for him showing him he's, he's, he's got a lot of talent, like I said, but he's a bit crazy, he's daredevil, he's very brave, you'll take it on, right, you know? And they do the crazy things that need to be done. He's got that spirit about him, which will drive this film. You know, you're getting the action at the start as well, they're using this, you've got all the elements, right? You know what I mean? So they're setting it up beautifully. Actually, there is no such thing as honour amongst thieves. Now, you can start giving me some names of the boys you were with. And there ain't no honour amongst thieves when you really get down to it, but there is honour in the code of conduct within organised crime and within the street. It certainly was with me. I always kept to that code. But here's another part you see Eggsy, he's, a, you know, he's portrayed as that strong, that strong character, you know. He's going to live and live and fall by his actions. And of course, he ain't a wrong and he ain't a grass, which makes you like him a lot more because he's a lot more proper and you see that he's staunch. Didn't want me being cannon fodder for snobs like you, judging people like me from your ivory towers. I love this scene as well. And I've got a say of the different experiences here and I just want to touch on it a little bit. So you've got him, Eggsy, he's kind of got his own environment, his own upbringing. He can only see from a certain part of the hill, right? Colin Firth, Harry, of course, you know, he comes across as this really immaculate Savile Row suit guy who looks kind of pompous. Of course, we know that he's not. He's very trained and he's a very, he's a very skilled assassin in this film. <laughs> What are you doing here? You're taking a piss. <laughs> and this is a great scene. I love this scene. Are oh, you taking the piss? So you have a look at him, he comes in the booth, he's thinking, all right, got to watch this little firm. They're mob handed. It's going to go off here. So, you know, we're going to take uh, the most dangerous one first. I'd appreciate it enormously if you could just leave us in peace. And this is one of the most iconic scenes, action, action scenes in the whole film. You know, there's so much paradoxes here, you know, because he throws them completely by how well spoken he is. My experience, these guys are the most dangerous, anyone will tell you. The ones who are shouting the odds and all that, they're not the ones to worry about. If you're looking for another rent boy, they're on the corner of Smith Street. Manners maketh. Of course, he's not going out the door. He's going to lock the door. I think they're going to bully him now, but of course, they're out of their depth with this guy. And let me teach you a lesson. Because he's already worked out who he's going to take first and he's going to weigh right into them, bend them up, smash them up. 
So now they're going to run at him now, and now he's just going to pivot and start taking them out. Who's first? There you go. Look, one, see? See that coming? Moves out of the way, straight to the middle of them, starts taking them out. <laughs> That bit's a bit far-fetched, so I have to say. It's going great till I see that bit with the arm thing. Amnesia. Imagine having something like that. It was going so well, and of course it lost the plot completely. It's, it, it's been uh, fantasised to, uh, you know, to go with this script of this spy secret service thing. I mean, are there people who can fight like that and move guys around like that and bend them up like that? I certainly know some. He's played some great roles as well uh, in the business and all the rest of it. Great actor. Um, really, really puts the role across uh, that London villain, gang boss, lunatic. Exit. Well done for spotting that was a two-way mirror. I love this character too and the way he's been cast. There's some great casting in this film. You know, he becomes a support, kind of the father figure, another one to Eggsy. There's more going on here, you see, within this film. It's a lot more than just the spy thing and all that. It's about, you know, Eggsy overcoming his circumstances, overcoming his environment, all the problems that he's getting from that, but overcoming himself and having to grow into something that's much bigger, much better. That journeyman part of the script, where there is the elevation at the end and it's masterfully constructed. I love this character, Eggsy. I was an Eggsy myself, as so many of us are along our journey. Uh, doing something wonderful for guys called the Resilience Code. There's going to be a link underneath about that. Love to see you there. Check it out. What the fuck is Kingsman? And who's Harry Hart? I don't know who the fuck that is! Another test, right? <laughs> you really need to know the people around you and all the rest of it. This has been set up masterfully, right? Because there's no way of bluffing this you know, and maybe maybe you'd think about that in your life when you have people around you, who the people are around you, if they're good for you, you know, or not. This film, it gives me, gives me lessons like that. As Hemingway said, there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. You know, and I love that. You see, there it is. True nobility is certainly not being superior. It's actually about being humble. But it's about being your own self, your most authentic self. And certainly, he said it there in two words, it's about being so much better than what you was before. It's about the journey, right? Love that. Great, great writing, great scripting, you know. And that's another part that is positioned within this script to position you. Is Eggsy going to go along the path now? Is he going to get better? Is he going to lose it? Is the wheels going to fall off? So it's all of this part as he grows with that, the script. And it's these little story points that really, really get audiences engaged as well. There's only one of two ways this can go. The host kills the virus or the virus kills the host. Samuel L. Jackson, of course, is the antagonist here, the anti-hero. The, the media magnet who's, 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 who's causing all the problems, I think he pulls this off beautifully. And you even see, you might not know, uh, how they've made him a lot more colourful. How he walks, how he talks, the things he says, the dialogue this character is giving really puts him in opposition to the other side of what they're showing you in this wonderful filmmaking. Top actor, I think he carried this role beautifully, well cast. Samuel L. Jackson, and he really drives the other half of what this story needs to be for audiences. Come on! So you see, he turns around, you know, against all his tribulations, the boy from nowhere has become a man within this film, and of course he becomes good. He, he becomes the Kingsman, and he's, 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 he's got the minerals for it. So this is a great, a great ending to the story. You finally come to have that word with me, have you, son? Or are you going to run away again and pretend you're going to court dressed like that? <laughs> and I love this part of it. What's so great about this as an ending 
is what all clever storytellers do, is they'll show you the ending, they'll complete the circles, but they'll go right back in there and they'll make it all right at the end, right? You know, and they'll complete the circle. So now he's gone through his journey of, of, of evolution. You know, here he is now settling all the scores and it's, nothing's changed, right? Another thing is, nothing's changed, you know, at home here, right? But it's a great ending. Manners. Make if. Maketh. Bad. <laughs> Man. Are we going to stand around here all day? Or are we going to fight? I love that icon. That's great. That's great writing. An amazing thing about this Kingsman, the point that it shows that you can come from the East End, you can come from an impoverished background, you can be have no future, no chance, but you can really change. You can be successful. You can be anything that you want and you can turn it around. It's got to be done, guys. What do I think about the authenticity in it? There's parts of it that are okay, and frankly, it's quite far-fetched, and a lot of that wouldn't really happen. But some great cinematography and great casting, great story, really, for audiences, entertainment, right? So it, it, it pulls you through some, some, some great entertainment. For authenticity, I'd give it a seven. Um, for, for, for the art of filmmaking, of course, this was a big budget film, $94 million as a budget. Great filmmaking in there and uh, some great story arcs. All the other parts that keep you really, really entertained, carry you through it. And, uh, you know, I'd give it a, you know, a very good seven and a half. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, uh, thank you for uh, engaging in the content. We've got some wonderful things coming out. We've got some real inspirational stuff coming out under the resilience code. Look out for that. We're doing wonderful things there that could really translate to you. I'll see you next time.